Matey! Who's my matey Patey? Morning, DJ. Morning, Diddy. Oh, you're so cute. There's my big boy. Morning, Milton. Morning. <coughs> Bye. ready to go to the gym but before we do that I am making my pre-workout which in this case is just an electrolyte drink because I don't consider it a pre-workout unless there's caffeine in it and unfortunately today there is no caffeine but that's okay because I'm adding something extra this is the key nutrients pink lemonade electrolytes it is probably my second or third favorite flavor um, but they're all pretty good they could, they could do with some sprucing up though, and that's normally what I do with my caffeine. But okay, I have a scoop here that's gonna go into my cup. Shout out to Keto Chow. Don't forget, you can get 10% off your Keto Chow purchase by using the link in the description. Okay, but here's the thing. This pink lemonade, it's like pink and aid, but like where's the lemon at? You know, like it's nowhere near as sour or as tart as I would like my lemonade, and maybe that's just a personal preference, right? So, I actually add citric acid. You guys, you can find this in the canning aisle next to all the ball mason jars in your local grocery store. It just makes things super tart. So, like, imagine this is like the outside of a Sour Patch Kid, right? Or this is like the outside of like a sour worm. This is what makes it sour. So, I do about like a half a scoop of, and the scoop is of course the same size that comes in the key nutrients. I do about half a scoop of citric acid. Put that on top of there. And then close or a thing. Okay guys, now this is not a zip fish shake, but we we're gonna be shaking something, okay? It's a key nutrient shake, right? Okay, so let's get ready to shake it in three, two, one. Um, it's the lemonade shake. Oh. Even though the powder is different, the process is the same. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. To having a great day, to having a great workout, to feeling good in this weather, because it is cold in Kentucky. If you didn't know, the weather has turned. You know what I'm saying? So, to dressing appropriately and having a good workout. Oh! Mm. Right here. Mm, see, now this has brought it to Zip Fizz Tart Pink Lemonade level, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Delicious. Leg up. Machines. What did you work I on? I do machine, huh? What did you work on? Like what body? What body bits uh, did you work I on? I try to do full body. Mm. I do legs and arms, upper body and lower body, all them squats, like butterfly mm -hmm. curls and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Well, you look good. Oh you God. look like you work out. Hmm? What did you do? I walked on the treadmill. There we go. Yeah, incline treadmill, just like a. You know, like a low intensity, steady state sort of situation. There we go. That's perfect. For yeah. You. When I come here, I just kind of like to use the truck. I got you. Because mm -hmm. you don't have one at home. Mm -hmm. that makes sense. And I'm not going to get one either. Treadmills are like heavy, they're difficult oh, to aware. move, you know. I'm well aware. And then I feel like once you have them at home, like 
the luster of them is gone. Like it, like it ends up becoming like a clothes rack, you know? <laughs> like you just hang stuff on yes. it. Right? So when I come here to the gym, it's like, ooh, a treadmill, I've missed you. Whereas I don't want to get a little too used to it. You know what I'm saying? That so, makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Well, what are you having for um, like food this week? Like coming up? You don't know. That's not a right. Just say uh, everything. <laughs> That's not the appropriate depending question. Depending on what I look in the freezer for. Oh my gosh. If it's, well, it this might week, be fish, pork, beef, or chicken. Yes. <laughs> D, like all the like mm -hmm. scrimps, yeah. seafood. Oh Just my some god. Some venison or something. <laughs> some bison. <laughs> no. Um, for me, I am having really good success with my hamburgers yeah, three three proteins my steaks and my salmon so that's what i'm gonna get this mm -hmm. week as well i am gonna try to find those egg life wraps that everyone oh, was talking about so sweet yeah you. just to see what the what the hype is about oh also this is a next week coming up is a carb cycling week so okay. i'm gonna get some onions and then i'm gonna have my onions on my burgers just like i did last All time right. so yeah that was good okay well we're going grocery shopping and we'll take you along Sounds Bye. About right. It is time for lunch and I have some sockeye salmon on the stove, skin side down. It's been cooking for like seven minutes, which I know most people would probably say is how long it can cook all the way through. But y'all know me and I like overcooked meat and it is getting smoky in here. So let's flip this salmon and see what it looks like. Here is the wild caught sockeye salmon. Yeah, so that's what I was making. Boneless skin on. I know, right? I wish it could be skinless, but... This is what I bought from Costco. And then this is what it turned into. It actually didn't come out too bad, even though that skin side down side was like a little, you know, touch and go there for a second. But once again, I like my stuff cooked all the way through. And this is just spicy mustard on it. I love all types of mustard. And for my salmon, I like spicy mustard. Okay, so taking a bite. Mmm. Oh. Olive oil, salt and pepper, and spicy mustard. Okay. This is food part one. Parts two and three to come. Okay, next up we have these Costco ground beef patties, a third pound. I'm gonna have two of them. And these are frozen right from the freezer, right? Patty number one. Patty number two. And I have my flat griddle on the stove heating up. And then I have this pork barrel barbecue all-american seasoning rub i love this on the hamburgers i also get this at costco just sprinkle some on side one okay so i just sprinkle i pat it in there and then directly from frozen patty number one can't forget it's twin and then I just sprinkle the second side. Okay, so I'm gonna let these go for eight minutes and then I'm gonna flip them. Okay guys, here are my bacon cheese burgers. That's just regular yellow mustard on top. I love mustard. And then they are on these egg life wraps. I've never really seen or heard of these before, but on my YouTube live, Everybody was talking about them and like the Southwest style just looked the most appealing and it smells amazing. Like it smells like cayenne or some sort of pepper when you open it. So I have high hopes for this. So this is just a third pound patty with a slice of cheddar cheese, two slices of bacon on the egg life wrap that I heated up on the skillet for like 30 seconds per side. I'm trying to made it into like a little chalupa thing love that you can hold it in your hand that's awesome okay the burger itself tastes amazing so i'm trying to get a piece with the wrap in it don't really know if i can taste anything and that is all right with me just having like a, 
essentially zero calorie sturdy way to hold up my burgers that might just be good enough yeah I think these things are just 30 calories one gram of carb I like it okay for those of you that have seen these egg life wraps let me know in the comments which one is your favorite which flavor is your favorite and like what sort of stuff do you do with these still can't taste it but it's awesome so the burgers in the egg life wraps were absolutely delicious it is almost steak time but not yet so i'm kind of having like a pre like dessert snack thing so these koya keto drinks i tried them at the las vegas keto summit and they are delicious and so the nice people at koya just sent me a ton of them and i've been drinking one every day just to kind of like drink through them uh and so it's been a really nice dessert they're 200 calories 15 grams of fat seven total carbs five fiber uh and 12 grams of protein so this by far is the highest carb anything that i am having for the day everything else as you've seen is is pretty much carnivore in addition to cake batter they have three other flavors they have cookies and cream which is really good they have caramel cream and then they have chocolate brownie which is my favorite because i think this tastes like chocolate milk right so i'm just drinking one of these a day you guys know me if something's in the house it has to be eaten or drank right there's no i'm not just keeping it around for like maybe in case one day i'll be in the mood no 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 i'm integrating them into my meal plan until they are gone this cake batter is really delicious And so I'm just gonna relax with this until it's time for steak. Okay guys, it is time to start preparing my top sirloin steak that is going in the air fryer. I have the air fryer currently heating at 400 degrees and now I'm showing you my steak. This is my eight ounces of top sirloin that has been sitting on the counter for a little bit to come to room temperature. And now you can see all of these open <laughs> spice containers uh, that I am going to season it. I realized that I really kind of like my taco seasoning. So this is onion powder. Look, I'm just gonna sprinkle some. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot the oil. That's what happens when you're not focused. Okay, so I'm just gonna sprinkle some oil on the steak and on the plate. So I had onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder, some chili powder, some paprika, some cumin I got really heavy-handed with the cumin last time so I'm gonna try to be gentle and then some red pepper flake okay, so pepper now I'm just gonna rub all this in the top yeah just like that and then now I'm gonna pick up the bottom piece and just start to slather it in all the plate mm-hmm all right look how everything is crusted that is amazing okay put it on the top rack of my air fryer all right and that goes at 400 now for me I like it for 20 minutes I know that's gonna be sacrilege to most of you guys because it's going to be vastly cooked as in well done but it comes out just like I like it so see you in 10 minutes to flip and then 20 minutes when it goes off I still let it rest for five minutes because I'm a pro so I'm gonna let it rest in there for five minutes and then I'll show you what it looks like completely finished Mayday Mayday food emergency you guys I just dropped my steak on the ground and I know there's like dog hair all over it but I'm picking it off I've got to eat this oh no my poor steak oh my hairy steak I know there's dog hair all over it but I don't care. I'm eating it. Oh, it looks so good minus all the in invisible dog hairs. How could I do that to you? Oh, my poor angel. Yeah, there's there's the evidence. Oh, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? Oh, the tongs, they didn't hold up. They didn't hold up. Oh, no. Why hast thou forsaken me? <laughs> okay, let me clean up this mess and then I'll cut the steak all the dog hair <laughs> I'm still eating it okay guys there it is I'm not gonna look too hard at it but I'm still gonna eat it uh, my steak is well done I like my steak cooked all the way through the thickest parts of it are just slightly 
brownish pink. I don't know if you can see, but like, it's well done. Five second rule still applies. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Taco seasoning, dog hair, floor residue. All delicious. I'm, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. It gets like this crust on the outside. Mmm. Like on the edges. Once again, I can't look too hard or I'll see all the hair, so. I'm gonna eat this eight ounces, finishing up my day. Okay guys, it's the end of the day. I'm sitting down on the couch. Ah, there's DJ. DJ? 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 He hates me, ah. I am finishing the day with a strawberry Zevia. Still have a ton of strawberry Zevias from when Joyce and Barry bought them for me for Thanksgiving. Mmm. Oh! My absolute favorite, I love it. So today was an excellent eating day. It was cool, it was carnivore, it was clumsy. Oh. But the steak actually turned out really good. I really just, you know, didn't pay too much more attention to the detail and I just shoveled it in, right? And it was absolutely delicious. I'm really enjoying eating this way and I see myself eating like this for the foreseeable future. So comment down below, what's the worst like food fail that you've ever had? Did it involve you actively dropping something on the floor? I need to hear about it to make myself feel better. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Hello, Prince DJ. How may we serve you today? All right. You, oh, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. But you're just gonna ignore me and look in every direction, but at the person that's talking to you, that's okay. Okay, you're just gonna look over there. Oh, okay. You laying your head down? You laying your head down? Oh, you're so beautiful. Till next time.